Hello, my friends. I am back. I am recording live, and I am finally feeling not terrible. So this is going to be really exciting. There is a little bit of a weird thing we're going to be doing for the next three days. In the Giant Grant Games patron chat on the Discord, for patrons only, there was somebody that asked if there was a version of the epilogue that had, like, all the worst stuff. <laughs> I think that's the way to explain it. Uh, Teclas. The Stone Age version of StarCraft, where we did the run a while ago, and it is you can't get lab upgrades, you can't get armory upgrades. For Legacy of the Void, you can't change from the basic, like, Zealot or the basic Stalker. You have to keep those, and you can't change the Spear of a Dune. And Orca Warrior, the creator of the Heart of the Swarm Randomizer, was like, yeah, I can whip that up for you, no problem. Whipped it up in a little bit. Apparently, it is absurdly difficult. So... I have, like, apparently it's just unfathomably hard at times. I have been told it is insane, to the point that casual is actually hard on it. So we're going to be jumping into Brutal, and we're going to see exactly how it is. I'm going to, like, put my serious pants on for this one because I have been warned, and I'm going to use the full might of the unupgraded Daylom to fight. I think we have the Spear of a Dune. Yeah, we do. So we have all the basic abilities, the default ones from the Spear of a Dune. As you can see, the Zealots are literally just ladder Zealots. The Stalkers are the version that doesn't regenerate shields. The Immortal is the ladder Immortal, etc., etc. It's the version of the unit that you get on the unlock missions instead of when they're actually good. And these missions are not built around that. So we're going to take down the spawner with the immortals. Everything else is going to target down the combat units. And then we'll take down the void corruption. We want to get right on top of this corruption because it does provide healing aura. Oh, do not die, my friend. Three, two, one. Oh, he lived. <laughs> what a legend. So normally you have the resurrection zealots there and you don't lose like anything during that. Even if you a move. I was target firing properly the Void Spawners and stuff, and we lost like half of the Zealots, so that is a good indication of things to come. Looking at what I have available, Deploy Pylon is just garbage. So, that's cool. Orbital Strike is also pretty darn weak. It's okay, it's better than the Time Warp ability, but it's not nearly as good as the Solar Lance that you normally have on this mission. Mass Recall is not going to be good here, is it? Hmm, that's real, real tough. And then Purifier Beam is all right. It is the third best of the top bar abilities. You get it because you don't have the money for time stop, or you don't have the soul right for time stop. Or if you're going for a weapon, you don't have the energy for solar bombardment, which is too expensive, but pretty good. So here comes the first Void Thrasher. I'm going to try to put the damage there. We're going to try to kite back. Yeah, we pulled Stukov. That's perfect. Now we need to not lose these Stalkers. All the Zealots are dead already. But if we get our allies fighting, we can do it as a team. And we can take it down. I think that I'm going to... Ooh, yeah. These Stalkers are feeling very, very subpar already. Without the shield regeneration and the huge amounts of damage you take in Legacy of the Void, it is pretty difficult. So we're going to head over here. Oh, we do have we do have Matrix Overload. So while we are inside of a pylon field, we get a mini stim ability that's not great. That's pretty cool. I think that'll be fairly useful. My thought for how I want to open is probably Carriers. It's going to be a while before we can actually secure this base. I think that's going to be a very, very difficult part of things. So my plan is that I'm going to grab a good number of zealots with my minerals carriers because they will be able to build up over time if I micro them properly. Everything else I think is just going to die, right? DTs could be good. This is Hyperion Actual. We're going to get Dark Shrine. Several strategic positions up ahead. We should make a point of securing them. Because Void Thrashers are weak to DTs. They teach you that early in the Legacy of the Void campaign, and it continues to be true here. 
could establish forward position. Very expensive, though. It's not going to be the version of the carrier that can repair, which is tough. I have an idea. We're just going to grab Mr. Zealot. We're going to send him over, and we're going to see how much health these Void Corruptions have. So it's right here. It has 1,000. This does 750 because it's not armored. This does 250. All right, that's math. So I think that's going to be the way to start clearing at the beginning is using that math in order to barely snipe those corruptions because fighting inside the corruptions is miserable. Yes, but there, are still many there is a problem with that, though. That being that it doesn't actually take down the unit spawners, which is going to be fairly tricky to deal with. Another Thrasher is on the way. That's pretty fast. Hmm. Dropping some troops at your front line, Sarah. What do you say, Artanis? You feel like joining in? Yeah, we definitely got to help out there, and the carrier is not going to be available in time. I think that I want to use Orbital Strike on cooldown, probably to take these out, right? These have 500 HP, and they're armored, so they get taken down by one Orbital Strike. That is a lot of energy for a single target. Is that an attack wave? No, it's not. But I think that that is what it's going to be, is a lot of utilization of what resources we do have, because our combat forces are... They need every help they can get. I'm going to grab a Dark Templar, and I'm going to take out this Void Rift. Let's see. Where's Kerrigan? Is she dead? Yeah, okay. She respawns, it's fine. Ooh, they pull ravens from other areas. Interesting. That's actually pretty rough. Unless... Oh no, I'm really bad at video games. <laughs> One shot away on both sides. Kerrigan, if you want to respawn right now, that would be totally okay with me. I think I need a couple cannons at home because I feel like I'm getting split up already. What's up? Oh gosh, this is insanely tough. How is this guy already so strong? Target him down. He's armored, so if we can get him to 500... Hello. So the gun on the Nexus is pretty nice. What do we want to do here? Leave the Zealots, and instead fire two... Uh, that's already going to die. So that area is safe. We can go one, two, three, four, five. Cool. All right, we got it. And we got to get a couple batteries over here at least, because the aggro from this cannon means that the Nexus is going to get specifically targeted down. I'm going to go like cannon, 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 battery, battery. And I hope that's a pretty good setup. Grabbing that plus two attack. And then we're going to push this way. In fact, I could just use the carriers here. There's no void corruption, which means that we're not going to be taking that damage over time. And we can just slowly clear this stuff out. There we go. This area, I'm going to try the same trick with the Purifier Beam and Orbital, and then we can push in with the main core of the army, and hopefully it works out. I'm trying to save up minerals, because I think I'm going to need a lot of static defense at that expansion. Ooh, yeah, we can take this down. You're right on there. Oh, I can't click the stalkers. There we go. Pull them back. Now, how are things doing over here? I actually have a little bit of an idea, and I don't know if it's going to work. But it's worth a shot. I'm going to give a quick save. And then I need... 
Oh, we're supply blocked. That's fine. We can get a DT, and we're going to send the DT to take all this stuff out. And while that's happening, I'm taking Void Corruption damage, actually. Uh, maybe that's not as good as I was hoping. Well, we'll see. Let's just keep our eyes peeled for any ravens, and if the raven comes, we pull back. Oh, it's not coming from the angle I thought it'd be. I don't know if they rebuild detection or not. I assume they do. My forces are inbound. Protos commander, we could use your assistance. Yeah, so I think what I want next is to... Keep guarding this area. Stop them from sending the detectors in. We're going to take this out, and then we're going to swoop down and kill the Void Thrasher. And after the Void Thrasher, we are going to move up and grab the expansion. Oh, no, that's not going to work. <gasps> are you going to be okay? I'm going to wait for that to spawn a burst of enemies, and then I'll use Orbital on it. We need this area to be secure for Jim, though, so he can spawn more stuff. So, big wave of enemy spawns probably soon. Oh, Stukov, you gotta fight. Maybe he's fine. Nice work. We're securing the location now. Jim, expect some more support coming your way soon. Cool. What would you ask you require? Careful, careful, careful. Not bad. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to check, did they send their detectors from the base right? Nope, they did not. I was hoping if this detector was sent over here, we would be able to get some pressure with the DT and maybe even take stuff out just because they wouldn't have their detectors. So we got to beeline it to the corruption once we enter it. Stalkers are dead. The only thing alive left is immortals on the ground. Hopefully we can be right next to the corruption when it dies, so we can get that healing aura that's very strong. And we do have the forge. I'm going to, now that I'm moving out onto the side of the map, I'm going to start cannoning this area. Because I do not have a whole lot of mobility. I guess I have a recall. But I have a feeling because the attacks tend to be symmetrical on this mission, that recall is going to be a bit risky. That heals real nice. You gotta make sure to abuse that as much as possible. It's not abusing, it's utilizing. Just gonna take the spawner down. Get right next to the target. Heal on up. And now we have a base. Is Kerrigan still dead? Feels like her swarm isn't doing anything, and I haven't heard her talk in a while. Nice little bunker right there. So Jim is now actually helping out on the left-hand side, which is phenomenal. We're going to try to snipe that connecting point for him. The Corpus Callosum of the Void. gonna be like two people on the planet that are like haha that's funny everyone else is gonna be like what are you talking about where'd the zealot go well we're gonna send one in a better angle Sarah, i'm sending over a few of my troops to help artanis if you want to jump on in we'd be much obliged so sarah needs help there's a void thrasher coming what we can do is snipe right here fire it off now we can just forget about it and let's start working on this Void Thrasher so that it doesn't have to fight Kerrigan. Must fall. Yes, yes. Oh gosh, another wave. There's a lot of stuff coming down this hallway. Ooh, lost a carrier there. Nothing scarier than losing a carrier. this out. Oh, no, another one. 
One shield battery. <sighs> Close. Now we have two bases. Battery, 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 battery. Cannon, cannon, cannon. Cannon, cannon. Yeah, when you don't have much else, static defense becomes way better. Now, has Jim dealt with this side? Not really. <laughs> He's trying. Big attack wave against me. The stack defense, I'm going to give assistance against the Thors. And then everything else seems like it'll be dealt with. Oh, Vipers! Oh, that's not good. I'm going to have to keep those in mind. I think I lost a carrier somewhere. Swing down, protect our friend. Get this guy over here. Nice. And we are starting to run out of minerals here very quickly, which is not good. I was hoping we'd have two base income. However, the clearing speed has been so slow, we have not been able to do that. I'm going to have to help out Kerrigan's side next. Push up this area, grab the allied expansion so that she can do something. I think that either what's happening is Kerrigan is just walking up and dying instantly, or she is not respawning. Either way, that is a huge loss for that army. Did I just attack my own interceptor? Didn't know you could do that. Maybe I didn't. So there's an attack wave coming on this side. Another Void Thrasher. I'm hoping I can take down one of the corruption areas without having to use the power of the purifier beam. Because I'd, there's like 30 of them on the map or something. I don't want to deal with every single one of them via purifier beam. That'll not be good progress. There we go. We see him spawning. Target him down. Try to keep everybody alive. We're not taking much damage. Brash her down. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to use the corruption again. Once we get into enough of a critical mass on my air force, I think it won't be as big of an issue. I don't really know what to spend my minerals on because I do not think the zealot's going to be good here. Like, the unupgraded, or the base zealots, even the centurion on Brutal, is like kind of meh. And then taking away all of its abilities is a huge downgrade. So I think that I'm just going to hold on to these minerals and use them for cannons and stuff. Especially that third base. Okay, Hydra's down. Target the corruption. Yeah, target the spawner first. Then get on top. Kill the corruption. Get the heal. And now Kerrigan's going to get a wave of stuff. And, these defenses should keep it that way. and then we can keep pushing this direction. And utilize the big laser of doom. Oh no. Ow. Yeah, we're going to take this area and that's going to give the expansion to Kerrigan maybe the momentum she needs. I hope. She really could use the help. This base is completely out of minerals. And we are implanting a hive cluster now, my queen. Our mutalisks shall join the fight. Oh, Muta's is not a great pickup here, is it? I'm getting sieged. Grab the gas, grab the gas. I'd like to start getting armor upgrades, but I don't think I can afford it. Uh, we can at least get 1-1. One, one. But gas is definitely the restrictive resource here. I have 200 energy. How do I want to spend it? I guess I can take that down. And then I want to push the middle. Oh, another Void Thrasher. 
Well, this is a good, this is actually a great position for the Void Thrasher, now that I look at it. We're absolutely going to be able to take this one down with minimal effort with the power we have over here. So many batteries is going to keep the carriers nice and safe. Okay, just target it. Good. That's over. No, oh, Kerrigan's talking over, again. Is she a lot? We still can. Okay, she's definitely perma-dead. <laughs> oh, Kerrigan. You tried. Exactly once. Big attack coming over, but that's at that expansion. This might be an opportunity to push up to the third base. Are there any Raven missiles? I don't see any. Oh, the attack wave. If I, there's like always attack waves, but if I come in during an attack wave, I just don't have the power to clear. The repairability on the carrier is not the greatest thing ever in Legacy of the Void, but it's so helpful on missions like this, where you're supposed to just increment advantages over time. Really, really would love anything. Unfortunately, Jim won't do any repairing if you go over to him, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna test it though. I think I've tested it before and it didn't happen, but I mean, I am willing to be surprised. That would be really cool. Another spawner down. I would like that. Let's get a zealot on it. And then I guess the zealot can pull back and he can be the purifier beam combo bro later. Yeah, no, he doesn't do anything. Let's get... Shields, I guess. Because we have a lot of batteries, so shields are going to be slightly more useful. Take down this Void Thrasher, number 38. We're about one Thrasher per minute. And then we can push with Jim. Oh, me, Jim. I'm ready. Me and you, buddy. This isn't that bad anymore. Uh-oh. I do not want to lose that base. And then we can build a huge amount of defense over here. This is where I'm going to go crazy with the mineral defenses. Because we need Jim to be able to hold this area while I work on Kerrigan's side. Because without the Queen of Blades, it's been really, really rough for her. She just keeps getting battered, and I do not want that to continue. Hey, the Mutas actually gave me some really nice spotting and a Viper to kill. Everybody got pulled into an area. I discounted the Mutas, but they actually worked for a reason that I was not expecting. Oh no. We're gonna have to. Split my forces. I'm a little bit afraid we're going to lose everything because I have to split. Crap. Oh, shield batteries in the campaign are way worse than the ones in multiplayer, and you can feel it at times like that. Now I'm lacking on minerals. Well, I'm going to because I need to build defenses over here. There's this that has a little bit of HP left. Let's see if we can snipe it. Without having to go down that side. Oh, that's a Void Thrasher, though. How does that have so much HP? 486. I must have messed up bad. Jim is starting to build his defenses over there. Once the cannons and stuff are ready for him, that'll be good. I'm going to save Orbital in case we need it up here. 
This Thrasher is relentless. Dodge? Hey, Jim's fine. Means maybe I should use it right here. Take down the anti air. We're getting to critical mass. We should use this time to secure more ground. Jim is about to die. Oh no. So I can defend two places at once, but I can't push if I want to do that, which is kind of problematic. I would love to take this area down and get Kerrigan a new home. We're looking pretty good, though. We have half of the map. We might take less than an hour here. <laughs> this has been pretty difficult, by the way. Like, I am quite impressed with just... This little change, how much harder things are. There's a lot more tactical thing. Usually this is one of those missions where you just kind of blitz through with murder stuff. But there's every single move that I make I have to think about, and that's really fun. <sighs> Recall. Pull those back. Okay, take it all down. I'm almost maxed. It's 34 minutes and I haven't been able to max. That's insane. I have not lost very much. I definitely could have done better, but like... There's a lot to deal with. Another one? Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's so many thrashers. We're going to fight the thrasher, then we're going to push up and try to secure things, because this is insane. We need to get this fortified area for Jim. Right near the end. Because Kerrigan is just useless. So we're leaning on Jim real hard. Uh, we need a couple batteries over here to make these strong. Got it, got it. And we're going to fire the purifier beam right here to take down all the defenders. Now Jim can secure this area, right? Please don't. Are you kidding? No! <laughs> oh no. It's so much pain. So we're going to push down here and try to get the reinforcements for Matt now. Or Jim, or whatever his name is. Oops. Now, how is this doing? There's 700 and 1100. Yeah, I need to retake that. I need to get... Matt, Jim has... Oh, there's so much that I have to do, and I feel like I can't do anything without dying. We're going to sit on one base for a bit. Try to clear this stuff. Oh, Yamato. That hurts. Take down the corruption, get on top of it, get the heal. Good thing there's not actually a timer on this mission. Despite what quote-unquote Tassadar tells us.
No mercy. This area is actually really easy. Interesting. That area is way less defended than the main areas. That means that getting an Ultralist for Kerrigan might not be that hard. I was not aware of that. Additional personnel inbound. Okay, okay. Our production centers are getting prepared to supply Thors to the front line. I'm going to try a forwarding 3-3. Three, three. I don't know how much it matters with the armor upgrades because I think a lot of the damage comes from the Void Corruption. But it's still worth having. Well, that's going to suck. That's a lot of minerals down the drain. Jim boost, boosting medevacs in to heal nothing. As you do. What's going on here? Oh no! Uh, don't let Jim lose his base. We need the Thors. That area did not get degassed. Oh my gosh, what? Are you serious? Kerrigan, you suck so much. No. No, 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 no. Uh, 30 seconds. Are we going to be able to get there in time? I can't believe it. Oh, this is horrible. It's so hard to push these far reaches. Yep. We just lost. We gotta reload. Uh, why is that in the future? Oh, probably because of the prologue. I don't know. Sometimes StarCraft does this where the timer's just off. This might be where we rescued the Thor base. If I had to make a guess. Yeah, so we're right over here. Jim, you deal with that. We're going to deal with your waifu. We need to save her laifu. Because she cannot do anything on her own. You're the worst Queen of Blades I've ever seen, Kerrigan's Cocoon. I'm very, very disappointed. We gotta go for Mr. Spawner first. Otherwise, it will never end. Then we're just going to have to go up Kerrigan's hallway and murder everything for a bit. Yeah, it's not, not often that you get to see your allies die on this mission, huh? So we can go gas gas. Cannon, cannon, cannon. Cannon, cannon. Battery, 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 battery. And Jim's defensive outpost he's supposed to build is not building. And he has salvaged his previous one. Not much I can do about that right now. We just gotta go. Heal at the corruption. Defend the push. Set up defenses here. As long as Jim can hold my expansion, that's all I need him to do. As I work with Kerrigan for a bit. This is going to be another area where I drop the Purifier Beam. Not actually a whole lot of anti-air here. I thought there was going to be more. Oh, there wasn't even a corruption there. Oh well. I think we might have hit the mass that we need. Ooh, taking big area damage, though. Raiders, take that thrasher down. Oh, we need to find a corruption to kill. It's way up there. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. Dig it out. And kill all the marines. Heal me, please. Yeah, I just lost a lot of supply. This is it, Narud. This time, you don't come back. 
And that trickles us up. There's another corruption right over here that's very easy to get to. That'll be my next goal. Nope. We gotta deal with that first. Is this the rate that the Thrashers normally spawn at? I don't actually know, but it feels like they're just always there. Maybe it's that the allies are just normally a lot better against the Thrashers. So they're not as much of an imminent emergency. Because in this, they definitely feel like every Thrasher is going to kill you if you do not deal with it exactly now. It's pretty cool. The Void Entities honestly feel very intimidating here. We all get the healing thing? We did. I think I lost a lot of interceptors right there, and that is completely fine. I could not care less right now. I might be able to afford a third starport at this point. After after 45 minutes of pushing. Now this is the base that gets Kerrigan the Ultralisk. That's really important. This guy Yamatos. We learned that. So be very careful. I have no idea how I'm ever supposed to split. Oh, uh, that's not the way you're supposed to split. <laughs> Against the missiles when they're going on your interceptors. Well done. At least I know what not to do now. So now the enemy is going to start spawning at obscene rates. Oh, hello. Looks like those are all the locations we should need. We owe you, Hierarch. I'm going to try to bust this base because this is where the big spawning comes. I keep taking out the Yamato boys. No mercy. Warriors have engaged the enemy. And then, is there a corruption here? There's not. That's unfortunate. No healing. Oh gosh, so many missiles. So we didn't lose a lot of life, but we took a ton of damage there. That means we're going to have to head back to shield batteries and heal up. Our defenses at the main are more than enough to deal with things. Almost down. Perfect. Only a little bit more. We're going to make it. What's going on right here? Oh, Broodlord. I think it only takes three shots to take down a Broodlord. And then we can put some pressure there. Now we're going to leave a couple guys here to help Kerrigan build up her defenses. We're going to send the other guys over to the side to help Jim build up his defenses. And maybe we can get a staging point to attack the final area. Maybe. Maybe. But I do have to take out this first. Your warriors have the enemy. Oh, supply limit reached. Rise, I started to warp him in. Maybe Kerrigan doesn't build up there? I don't remember. Actually, it does seem like she doesn't build. We do not hurt the Ultralisk. That's actually one of our biggest flaws, that we don't help the team against these Ultras. They have... 7 armor, and we do 8 damage, so all of our interceptors hit for 1. That's okay, though, because I don't think that Ultralisks are going to ever kill us. Can't wait to be proven wrong there. Nice little rally of enemies. Take out what we can. Let's push in. Try to fight the high value targets, get vision of this area, and then the parts in the back, we're going to try to blast. Just a couple more. 
That one was not as bad. The purifier beam helped out a ton. I think there's only going to be one or two more thrashers we have to deal with because the only area left is the final fight. I did just lose 20 supply in like half a second. Also, I heard that my Vespine Geyser is exhausted, which is bad. Grab this money up here. Oh! That guy got killed and I completely forgot to recapture it. That was my bad. Now we're going to swing up to this Void Corruption and take it down so I can get the healing aura. I think that guy's channeling a Yamato. No, he wasn't yet, but he woulda. We know what they're like. Those Battlecruiser boys. So we got Narud. He's the last one left. I am down a lot of supply. He's pretty weak. So these respawn pretty regularly, which means that we can't take them down until we want to go for the final fight. Actually, maybe while we're building up a little bit more, we should learn. Root is a detector. He absolutely owns all biological units. DTs are not going to be good there. I guess we cannot hit multiple at the same time. Yeah, only with Solar Lance can we do that. So I think we need to wait for an ally to do a big push, and then we need to supplement with all the firepower we have. That's going to be the end game here. A little bit better than that, Jim. <laughs> the swarm is broken, but your flesh can still be made to serve your true master. I guess we need to help deal with these attack waves. The battle cruiser is the main important thing. Hurting the broodlord's okay though. Yeah, then we can take them down. It's another void thrasher. up this way. Got him. All right, we got it. Are we going? No, no, no. That's just the. Oh, we might be going on this side. Hey, there's even some gym over here. Okay, this seems like the timing. They got stinky lisks. Start the push. Take down this one so we can kill the brood at the same time. Spawn her down. Spawn her down. Spawn her down. Finish off the Nerud. Oh my goodness. That was hard. That was really, really hard. I'm quite impressed with this mod. Oh. For only being one simple change, reverting everything to its base form, that was exponentially harder than it ever has been. Really, really cool. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you are interested in this sort of thing, I would love to hear your opinion. So please tell me in the comments. Uh, and if so, I will do the next two missions tomorrow and the next day. I don't know how defending is going to be with all the basic Wings Liberty stuff, but that seems really fun. And then... Oh, the final mission seems like it's just going to be insane. Oh, we're going to have such bad units. I don't even know what unit will be good. <laughs> oh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.